Today we're gonna to try to make one of our favorites from Panda Express Keto, and that is the chow mein. Pre-keto, I was all about the Panda Express life. I would get it almost every day <laughs> because it's so good. And one of the sides I always used to choose was chow mein. In the past on this channel, we've recreated some of Panda Express's entrees, but we've never attempted the sides. We made a delicious keto-friendly honey walnut shrimp. We made keto-friendly orange chicken. And chow mein is one of those things that would be really hard to replicate because the only choices that I thought were out there were like zoodles or some kind of pasta substitute that wasn't going to live up to Panda Express's chow mein, like miracle noodles or shiitake noodles. And I actually came across a product that we are going to try today. It is called Imi. This is a small company that is making keto-friendly ramen noodles. So I happened to see an ad for this on Instagram and it caught my attention for sure. So we actually purchased a variety pack. So this is an unbiased review. We went and bought this from the Emmy website. And while the serving suggestion does say that, you know, you could eat this as a brothy ramen and add all kinds of things into it, I thought, what if we tried to make chow mein out of these noodles? So these Emmy ramen noodles have 22 grams of protein per serving and six grams of net carbs. And I was looking into the story of this company and apparently they went through like 200 recipes to get this to work. So I'm excited to try it today. We're gonna to be testing the Panda Express chow mein along with our creation to see if it's worth the effort. And obviously we're not gonna be eating a lot of this. We are just gonna try like one bite of it because it has a lot of carbs. We also thought we would go over some of the choices that you could have keto friendly at Panda Express. And they're not a lot. And they're not my favorites for sure. So let's get started. So inside these Emmy noodles, it comes with a spice packet. They have a variety of different flavors that you can get. I think one of them is like shrimp tom yum. And this one is the black garlic chicken. You can always save these spice packets for later because you're not gonna be needing them for this recipe. What you are gonna be needing though is the noodles. I mean, you might even be able to use palmini or stuff like that, but we're actually really looking for like that noodle texture. And that's why we're gonna be using these Emmy noodles. You're gonna be needing sliced cabbage, diced yellow onion, a little bit of celery, thinly diced. We're gonna be adding some green onions on the top. You're gonna to be needing oil. We have about three tablespoons. Soy sauce, we have about two tablespoons. And oyster sauce. Oyster sauce is one of those ingredients that if you're gonna be making Asian cuisine, you might as well get some. But on keto, it's really hard because oyster sauce has a lot of sugar. I did some research online and I found that this brand, I don't know how to read Thai, um, but it kind of looks like one of my ancestors on the front. This is like looks like one of my aunts from Malaysia on the front here. This brand, which we will link in the description, only has two grams of carbs per tablespoon, while a lot of the other oyster sauces that we've come across have like six or eight grams. So if you're gonna be making this dish a lot over the next year or something, just buy the one that has the least amount of carbs in it. So we're gonna be making two packages of the Emmy ramen because there's three of us here and Sarah's husband likes a nice portion. So we're gonna be cooking these noodles for about seven minutes in boiling water. So I've cooked these for about seven minutes. You don't want them to be overcooked. You kind of want them to be a little bit al dente because you are going to be cooking them additionally inside some oil in a pan. We've drained these off to the side. They're cooling down now. And I'm actually gonna take the additional step to drain them on paper towels because I wanna get all of the excess moisture out of there. I read some of the comments on their Facebook posts and whatnot. You can tell that these people are not keto. <laughs> because they were saying like, it's green and it's five times the cost of ramen or 10 times the cost of ramen, which it probably is. But ramen, what is that? Is it even food? It's like the cheapest thing that you can eat and make. And so yeah, if you want something that's high quality, a small company and keto, it's gonna cost you 10 times the price, sorry to say. So I think that there's pumpkin seed flour or ground pumpkin seeds in there, which might be giving it its green color. So this is super easy. On a medium high heat, we put in a tablespoon of olive oil and into that we're putting in a couple of stalks of celery that we finely diced, half of a yellow onion, and about two cups or two and a half cups of shredded cabbage. You can use shredded cabbage from the bag like we did or you can shred your own cabbage if you have a big cabbage laying around. Now this is all wilted down and we're gonna get started making our chow mein. To our vegetables, I added about three tablespoons of soy sauce one and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce, and three tablespoons of olive oil. And I mixed that all together. And then we added in our noodles 
and toss them all together. I'm gonna fry the noodles up for about a minute on high heat. So the way that we came up with this is that when we were in high school, we used to come home really hungry after school. We had ramen noodles at home and I didn't necessarily like like the whole brothiness of the ramen. So I used to fry the noodles up in a pan and I actually used to use the spice packet and I would just take a couple like an ounce of water, I would make the spice packet and I would just toss it all together and maybe add a scrambled egg in there or something after school. And so when I saw this product, I said, will it work for what I used to eat it as, which was like fried noodles. So that's what we're trying today. We have no idea if this is gonna work, but um, I'm pretty hopeful so far. It's looking really, really good. Nice and oily. <laughs> Boy, I like it. Saucy. Mm-hmm. So it's smelling awesome. It's looking really good. We're gonna plate this up and then we're going to plate up our Panda Express chow mein and we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. Yeah. Shove it in there. <laughs> How's Henry's hair? So here we have our chow mein right here. This is the Panda Express version that we ordered and had delivered. We ordered an entree just to kind of show you guys what you could have on the side if you do go to Panda Express. And if you happen to go to Panda Express, this is the super green side, which is what you'll probably be eating. It's basically cabbage and broccoli. I think it varies depending on when you go. It looks pretty sad. It just looks like steamed vegetables. Speaking of sad, this is the size of the entree. I don't know if you can see comparatively. If you order it in like the to-go container, I think that you get way more. I think I paid six dollars for this tiny little thing. Thing. I said, what is this? Is this rice mm -hmm. that they gave for free? No, this is the entree. <laughs> it just proves that noodles are not expensive. Right. Look because how big the container is right. for the noodles and look how much for the protein. Right. So just starting off, okay, I just wanted to say that uh, this side is about 80 carbs. That's crazy. Yeah. And this side is, I would estimate like eight around there. Net. Right. Eight net carbs for this, for the version that we made because there's a bit of sauce in there and there's some vegetables. It's not all that much. So maybe eight net carbs for this. And this is a pretty hefty serving of noodles for that. Shall I serve you up a plate? Yes, okay. I like being served. The tiny, <laughs> if this is 80 carbs, we, oh, this yeah, is, we can um, do a couple strands. This is the serving of that. Literally, that's it. Because this is like two grams of carbs. I don't know how to get this out without making a mess. Because I think you're supposed to... Okay, why don't we just give a little bit each? It's, it's not. It's all connected. Okay, so we're going with the Panda Express, just a little tiny portion here. Not, not that much flavor. I don't taste anything. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like. The noodles are soft though. That's all I'll give it, really. Yeah. There's not one vegetable in the two we strands. We didn't even get like an onion or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, ours actually smells like. Soy sauce, yes. oyster sauce, mm -hmm. onions. It's a lot more flavorful. The it looks a lot greasier. A profile, at least. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm studying that like texture, really. Really good. It's chewy, but it's not gummy. I feel no. like some noodle replacements are kind of gummy. I don't taste that here. And it really absorbed the flavor, too, I think, of the mm -hmm. oyster sauce. The oyster sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. I don't miss the sweetness that mm -hmm. oyster sauce has. This tastes like what I expected that to taste like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the noodles are really good. Like, I would choose this one over that one. Yeah, same. I would too. I'm really surprised. That's unique. I am very impressed by these noodles. I'm wondering, gosh, what else could we do with them? And if you wanted to add more protein to this dish, you could add any protein that you like, like steak or shrimp, shrimp, chicken. Be really good tofu mm -hmm. like i said before this is not the intended use of these noodles like you're supposed to be making it with this ramen packet the spices it's supposed to be like really brothy and stuff but this turned out really good i'm surprised and i'm already thinking about ordering more uh-huh so i can have this on hand because i would love to have this a couple times a month and if you guys are interested in ordering from panda express and not going through all of this work which i mean it's really this is really good but so this is called the black pepper angus dish. 
So this is kind of like what you would choose if you were trying to go Panda Express and just be keto and order it from there. And then you probably would get it with the super greens on the side. If I was just like out and about and I wanted to order Panda Express, this is a meal that you probably should have. There were a couple other ones that I can list with the lowest amount of carbs. A lot of them have a lot of carbs. So I think that there's a couple which I'll list here. So those are the things that you would choose alongside the super greens for your side. Honestly though, like as far as getting your money's worth, if you had super greens on the side, I bet you it's worth more than this mm -hmm. because greens are way more expensive to have on the menu mm -hmm. than noodles, right? It'd be really filling if you ate all of those greens. We just thought we would go over what you can order from Panda Express if you're keto. Forget the egg roll, forget the crab rangoon. Make those at home. We have recipes for those. Oh too. yeah, we do have recipes for that. So we're super excited that we got to try this product. You never know with keto stuff if you're going to end up liking it. So I'm going to try to reach out to Emmy to see if maybe we can get a coupon code for you guys. That's a great idea. And we're going to be leaving this link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. We definitely think it's worth it. We will be ordering more. Yes. If you guys want to make a Panda Express entree that would go perfectly with this, Sarah and I recreated Panda Express's honey walnut shrimp and it was really, really good. Delicious. If you guys want to see that video, you can click right here and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins, Twins signing, signing out. out. So Lady of the Tramp moment. By yourself.